Good day, good day! How the hunk are ya? <laughs> Welcome to Roverland! This is your friend Dan O. And as always, keep calm and carry on in these trying times. Yeah, that's our motto for a while. All right, guess what? It's an unboxing Saturday again. Yeah, let's see what we got. Big F on there because we got this from eBay, I'm sure. Yeah, it doesn't say that, but I'm sure that's it because that's all I've been buying lately. All right, we're at Salem, Oregon. Cut off the old uh, return address. We put that away. All right, let's get this over. Unboxing Saturday without a box again. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, reach right in there, grab this out. Oh, this is kind of peculiar. I think I know what this is, but I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. Yep, I think that's what it is. What is it? Oh, no, it's not what I thought it is. <laughs> All right, that's what it is. There we go. All right. Yeah, look at this beauty. Yeah, we're worse for wear, that's for sure. Kind of uh, interesting uh, paint job there, the, the red, yellow, and blue. But this is the first... Uh, Part of the first uh, with a blue base. Yes, you got to check that out. The old blue base there. Yeah, so I got this off eBay under five bucks shipped. So that's kind of my rule of thumb. Uh, I pick this stuff up if I can, if it's under five bucks. Older models, uh, not so much the newer models, but uh, it's got the toe, toe hitch still on there. Nice tinted windows. So let's take a look. I've got a display case of these. So let's take a look at that right now. All right. So right on, right on, this is what we got. So let's take a look at that display case, all right? All right, oh yeah, we got a glare already. That's all right. <laughs> so this is my display case now. You know guys, I have done a lot of different series and stuff on that on uh, model reviews and I haven't done one on the Matchbox D90. I haven't done that yet, I still have to do that. Um, but it's, uh, it's a big category. I, I don't have them all put together and, uh, done the, uh, research and I'm missing some. Yeah. So this is what they call the Land Rover 90 Matchbox, uh, International LTD is what it is. And, uh, 160 second scale. And this was put out in, what is that? 87. 1987 so yeah someday I'm gonna get my button gear and uh, get this together but on this unboxing video we're just gonna take a look at this uh, display case this is my um, kind of the my loose ones now I've got some carded not a big uh, big uh, deal of carded ones but this is my loose ones let's uh, get rid of that glare how's that huh all right we'll just flip that up and uh, this is kind of uh, chronological, chrono chronological order. Yes. So this is uh, would be the first one that they came out. Uh, was it 88, 80, 87, 88? And uh, with the gray base. Very nice. This one's a little bit easier to read. That blue is uh, really kind of uh, uh, really kind of hard. Oh boy, did you catch that? Nice, nice detailing on there. Um, uh, you know, it's got the exhaust, which is kind of not really uh, too uh, accurate. But uh, the uh, pumpkins offset, that's uh, the differentials are uh, offset, and that's quite, uh, quite accurate. So these are my loose, um, nice premium, the best of the best that I could find so far. Uh, I'm always looking for uh, new ones and, uh, you know, uh, uh, better ones and stuff like that. I don't, you know, and like I say, I, I'll pay $5, uh, shipping include, including, uh, you know, they're kind of hard. Uh, some of these are kind of hard to find in the States. We'll get to that later. All right. <laughs> uh, here's the green one. That's the next one. It's kind of the same as the blue, but in green, uh, same kind of tampos there per se 
but uh, but yeah, you can see now this one here. Uh, I got a little uh, flea tick on the right uh, eyebrow there in the front. Uh, now these are right hookers. Got a little goober on the window there. I don't know if it's a scratch or a goober. Now this has got the gray base as, as well as the uh, first one. And uh, very nice, very nice. Nice bull bar on that one. It's not all bent out of shape and everything, but very nice. Land Rover on the uh, nose of the bonnet. Really cool. I guess the other one had that too, didn't it? It looks like a little bit different font, but uh, yeah. So there you go. Not not something that would be on the real one. They, they put it right across the front nose uh, defender. And the next one was uh, the red one. Now this still had the gray, grayish base there. This one's not a bad one. Got a few few ticks, fully ticks. And then of course those sharp corners on the edges are always a place for chipping to happen. But this is the country it says right on the side there. I think we can read that. Not too bad. Yeah. Nice example, nice example. Bull bar straight. Plastic top is uh, nice and bright and white. Clear window so far. All right, this one's a hard one to get. I don't really think that this was a uh, U.S. release. And uh, like I say, I, I really haven't done the um, um, research and and uh, got it all mapped out to tell you exactly what year these came out. Uh, but I do know this this came in a play set. And uh, I think I have this on the card. Yes, I do have this one on. It came with a uh, Royal Navy. It came with an airplane. It's a big uh, three pieces, I think. The Land Rover, an airplane, and something else. Uh, but this is my loose one. I do have that on the card. And like I say, when I go to do the series uh, model review of the whole um, collection, and I... And it'll probably be two or three, four parts because they're so big and so many. But uh, right now on this unboxing Saturday, we're just going to go ahead and take a look at these loose ones here. So uh, holy cow, we better move along. We're already up into seven minutes. Here's a very, very popular one. Uh, this one, uh, a lot a lot of times are for sale. The Safari Park, uh, that same base on it. They've all got the same... Uh, windows black interior because the black interior also does the uh, bull bar now this one came out with a black roof which would be detrimental in the safari <laughs> grab all the heat and suck it right in but uh, very nice very nice and then this is the one that we got in the mail today if you remember so um, this one is kind of a hard one to get I guess I don't know uh, that's why I pick it up but it's blue base a little bit easier to read when it's clean but there was something about this now this one's got a red interior and kind of uh, darker tint on the windows a little bit there tint on the windows but uh, and I don't remember right offhand why this one is uh, so hard to get or whatnot but I, I don't actually think it's a US release I think it's a UK release or Europe European release here's one that uh, is a really hard one to get I think I paid a lot of money for this one. Uh, red base. And uh, they all say the same. They just sometimes change it. This has got the black interior, white top, white car. Uh, circus Circus. Uh, yeah, this came in a play set as well. I think, I don't know if I've got that on the card or not, but uh, got it loose. And then there's a the green one. This is a pretty popular one too. They, they put out a, quite a few of these. Um, Back to the uh, throwback to the old days. Got the old Land Rover on the nose of the bonnet. Black interior, gray base, clear glass. Blue. So kind of a throwback to the first uh, first ones there. Uh, then the Canyon Red Valley Camp is another one. Now this is a pretty popular one on eBay too. Uh, five pack exclusive. And boy, I've been, I buy these all day long, uh, and they are beat up. Like I say, this one particular, um, I, I think you can buy these mint in the package with flea, flea bites and tick bites. <laughs> it just seems like this, this particular model is just, uh, hereditarily 
uh, flea bites. Yeah, black base, yellow interior. It's got that bright yellow uh, uh, bull bar up front, white top, red. Came in a five pack. It was pretty neat. I've got that in the package as well, as well as uh, many uh, different uh, versions of that. Now, that came with a, a wa um, trailer with this uh, boat, so I put that in there. Why not? This one here, now this one I know is not a U.S., um, I don't believe is a U.S. Uh, release, Canyon. Um, I believe I got this on the card, or in a window shadow box, I'd have to double check. But black base, same tires, black interior. Uh, yeah, it's uh, not really sure exactly the uh, logo on this side, a helicopter and a guy climbing a mountain, but uh, yeah, camp... No campfires there on the back of the B pillar there. Black interior, pretty cool, pretty cool. Like I say, this is kind of a hard one to get. It does come up for sale. And then the last two that I have here is uh, are the um, park, park ones. Let me set this down here so I can shut this and kind of show you the two differences here. Now this one is kind of beat up. I thought I had a nicer one than this. I know I have this in the package, both both of these, I have these, both of these in the package. Uh, yellow Park Ranger, uh, the standard one is with the gray base, large door uh, decal, green and black uh, stripes on it, white top, black interior, clear windows. Uh, once again, this one was, I think, another one that's really hard. They come mint out of the package with chips on them, <laughs> flea bites, you know. Uh, the all the um, the um, variation is this one here. Now this one's a minty, minty one, a little bend on the old bull bar, uh, but yellow base, small uh, door decal, park ranger there, and uh, a little bit smaller decal there. So that's variation, but otherwise pretty much the same truck, black interior, clear windows. So uh, yeah, there and I think there's quite a few different variations with this one. This one, the Lucy Goosey, Lucy Goosey cheese balls, Dano. <laughs> so yeah, they uh, on the card, off the card, uh, the yellow base. I, I think this was a five pack exclusive or a gift set exclusive. I'm not sure. Like I say. I'm flying off the seat of my pants here on an unboxing Saturday. So there you go. All right. Well, thanks for joining me today. Uh, unboxing Saturday. We took a look at the um, 1988, the 1987 uh, Land Rover 90 Matchbox uh, Defender 90. That, uh, one of my favorite castings uh, of all times. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed. Hey. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, you gotta subscribe, and uh, go over to Facebook and post what you got. If you got something rare, and uh, I know Roy, he's gonna show me what he's got. He's always likes to post what he's got in his collection, and I totally, totally awesome. And thank you, thank you much, Roy. Shout out to you. If you wanna see some of the stuff Roy's got, go over to Facebook, Roverland. And uh, check out some of our uh, past postings and stuff like that when I post the videos. And uh, he'll show you some great stuff. And I repost some of his other collections, stuff that I don't have and I wish I did. But it's uh, kind of exclusive to Over Across the Pond. Yeah, he's from Over Across the Pond. So do that. Instagram, Overland Channel. All right, that's going to do it. 14 minutes. We got to get out of here. Thank you very much for joining me today. Have a great rover day and slow traffic keep right.